C.D. Lamb didn't show up to the Dallas Cowboys training camp. Obviously, he's looking for a new deal. Trent Williams, San Francisco 49ers, holding out, looking for a new deal in San Fran. The entire conversation was Brandon Ayuk. Brandon Ayuk, because he was getting loud, getting loud, getting loud. Now, the best tackle in football. The best. Is, uh, is, he was going in motion, too, with this offense, remember? Yeah. Not just a left tackle. He's also going in motion. I assume they're going to get him the ball at some point. And he's saying, well, you better give me a bag, because he has no guaranteed money left on his contract. So, there's a lot of conversations to be had over there in San Francisco. This one's a big deal, though, AJ. This yeah. is a massive ordeal here yeah this is massive and it's funny that that we didn't really mention i'm sure internally they absolutely want to get this situated so what it looks like since he has no guarantee left he wants them hey you need to guarantee me a big chunk of money here over the next year or two yeah especially as yeah. a tackle as an offensive of course, lineman yeah. and as, as as him being the guy like the enforcer the man like in the league that's that's who he is yeah he's the one that leads him out of the tunnel you know yeah. like, yeah. like mm-hmm. actually the guy that leads him out of the tunnel and then not just off the field on the field he's the guy that leads the entire way he's the one coming in to fight like he is the tone setter for the offensive side for the san francisco 49ers didn't even know that this was potentially a thing we knew the Ayuk stuff was brewing and we have eyes on Ayuk now who attended san francisco 49ers practice the way the video was presented by fox 40 i do believe out in san francisco was as if uh, uh, yeah Fox 40 Sports Sean Cunningham you, it was it was kind of presented as Ayuk and John Lynch jovially talking and walk off the field together. Brandon Ayuk showed up to practice backpack white shirt right very loud sunglasses uh, uh, I believe there's uh, do rag on I believe the whole thing the, just obviously sticking out right not practicing yeah obviously sticking out but he's there I assume is his entire angle he talks somebody here's John Lynch coming up to him now obviously hey good to see you. I, I uh, you know we're gonna hopefully get this entire thing work kind of what Fox 40 was reporting it was they kind of walked together and this is all in the same time and the reason why we know is because if you play this it's all adoring the same song so, you know, yep. it's all during the same song that is being played at practice. Rock. It was rock. Bro. Oh, yeah. Okay. It was rock. Is that Juice Check on the? Uh, Juice Check was uh, in the thing. But here's John Lynch and IU talking. Yeah, we're going to figure it out. And then then IU walks off the field or uh, past these video people rolling and rolling. Almost gets taken out by a teammate. Boom. Right there. Uh, almost gets taken out by a guy. And then he heads off the field. So I wonder if John Lynch said, hey, let's go meet. Let's go chat. Is he going back inside? Did he say, hey, don't get off the field. We don't need distraction. Like, I do wonder about the entirety of it all and how it ends up, AJ. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I would imagine John Lynch wants to sit down with him and communicate. That's what you would think they'd be setting up. But yeah, we've seen times when players come on the field and coaches say, hey, get out of here. You're a distraction. Now, that's not what that looked like to me, but that has happened in the past. Ayuk is a dog. There's a lot of teams that would want him, but he is being very open about not wanting a contract. Him showing up and going on the field the way he did, better or worse than just not showing up? Better, right? I don't think he showed up without some kind of conversation before he showed up. Like, it don't make sense to do everything that he did and just show up out the blue. What if he did just walk in through the fans? That'd be nuts. Because right. he did dap up that he was walking around. I don't want to say aimlessly, because normally, like you see Jordan Love, he's hanging out with the quarterback. Right. Yeah. Like you see guys that aren't that are there, they're hanging out with their position group. He was just kind of walking around. I don't. Know. It was. It was aimlessly. a weird. It was. It, weird. it was, it was, it was kind of like an aimlessly. I don't really know how. Backpack like, on. Like he like, just got he, there. Like he just came from the car. Or something. Yeah. Like he just came from somewhere. He got the backpack on. He he's got something in there to get ready to go. Like. There's no way he's just walking around with a backpack. Um, I don't think so. Well, and the Trent thing all but signs his fate. Like, if they need to pay Trent Williams, and obviously, you know, they've paid other guys in the offseason, but they need to get Trent Williams done, they're not going to not pay him and then go out and sign IU to a massive contract before Trent Williams. So him not being happy, like, that's not going to change because he's not the next guy in line right now. It's Trent that. Williams. Well, and Florio did say to us, I, I don't remember if it was earlier this week or last week when he came on, he he basically intimated that, like, hey, this is probably the last season that Trent Williams is with the Niners and Kittle. Like, he was making it seem like a lot of these guys, like, Man. they'll make – like. And the Niners have so much, so much all the time. I, and I success brings fire. this, but it's like there's so much stuff seemingly all the time. Yeah. That they have to deal with, and they're still great. It's crazy yeah. how they continue to win. That's and, and not just win; like they're they're dominant. Like they're expected to be their NFC Championship Super Bowl, you know, and they have been for the last several years. Oh, let's run through the NFL real quick. All the people that are pissed: T. Higgins, obviously playing on a one-year deal. He's not uh, exactly thrilled about it, but he's bought in about yeah. it. Yeah. Ayuk obviously wants a new deal. Trent Williams uh, obviously wants a new deal. Tua wants a new deal. Jordan Love 
wants a new deal. Mike be done any day. Michael, Michael Parsons, Parsons wants a new deal. Jamar Chase wants a new deal. Matthew uh, C.D. Lamb. Matthew Judon is seeking money. C.D. Lamb is holding out. Uh, everybody wants money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's a lot of drama. I mean, Tyreek Hill has wants to redo his deal. Yeah. yeah, but Tua still has to be paid. What is Tua going to be paid? <laughs> yeah. uh, the Jordan Love stuff. Rusini reported that there is a chance she's the host of Scoops alongside Chase Daniel. She's from The Athletic. She reported that this thing could go a couple weeks. Maybe Ooh, yeah, uh, and, then Flor- and Florio came in like right after and said, nah, "This will be done within the next day or two. So that's seemingly what everybody has said with the exactly. Jordan Love deal, but it's about to be the highest of all time. You assume there's a lot of contract uh, negotiation for sure. Eyes that need to be dotted, T's that need to be crossed. How come they weren't crossed or dotted before? Training camp, who cares? Once it gets done, it gets done. We all move forward. But there's a lot of players that aren't happy with their contract situation. 